1848. Isacco Pesaro Mauro Gonato. Once upon a time, there were the revolutions of 1848. On March the 22nd, 1848, in Venice, Daniele Manin and Niccolò Tomaseo proclaimed the Republic of San Marco in the wake of the uprisings that were sweeping Europe. Despite the embarrassment of Trieste, the most important members of the Venetian management of Generali were closely involved in the insurrection. Leone Pinkerle, secretary of the Venetian branch, was the Minister of Commerce in the new government. The future director, Isacco Pesaro Mauro Gonato, Manin's main advisor, became the Minister of Finance. With the loans proposed and obtained by him, Venice managed to get by for 12 months. Without him, the city would have fallen a year earlier. The government of San Marco demolished the imperial lodger of the Teatro La Fenice and in its place had six new boxes made. Whether for patriotic arias or dances in red, green and white, the colours of the Italian flag, the theatre has always been the stage for Venice's uprisings. On the night of December the 12th, 1836, La Fenice was devastated by a fire that broke out after a rehearsal of Donizetti's Lucia di Lammermoor. Generali was at the forefront of fire insurance. Since the 1830s, buildings protected by the company had been marked with a small, coloured tin plate, which discouraged arsonists and indicated to firefighters the buildings on which to intervene. La Fenice was rebuilt in a year thanks to the timely compensation paid by Generali. It was reopened on December the 26th, 1837, on the company's birthday, with the debut of a new opera, Rosmunda in Ravenna, by Giuseppe Lillo. And the Republic? The popular effervescence, seeing the Austrian power as contrary to the changes desired by the people, began to insult and tear down the insignia of our company bearing the glorious imperial eagle. In order to counter the popular effervescence, on April the 8th, 1848, the Trieste management proposed that the name of the company be reduced to Assicurazioni Generali. In the meantime, the revolution died. After a long siege, bombarded from the sea and in the grip of hunger and cholera, Venice surrendered on August the 22nd, 1849. Menin and Pinkerle went in exile to Paris. Tommaseo and Mauro Gonato to Corfu. Back in the saddle, Emperor Francis Joseph I ordered the rebuilding of the imperial lodger in the theatre. After 1848, the Venetian management of Generali replaced the two-headed eagle with the line of St. Mark. They would never go back. <laughs>